So Rick. Yeah. You want to see how the waves are made? Yeah, I've swam in here a lot of times. I'd like to know where that air it's comes a from. It's a secret. It's a secret, but I'll show you. Okay, we're gonna go see. This is the boiler room. So this is how we have warm water. And our wave pool is 86 degrees, so it's summer year round and splash. This used to be filled with one huge boiler and it aged out. And with the bond election that our taxpayers supported for us, we were able to replace it with three condensing boilers that are much more energy efficient. Ultraviolet light. What does that mean? What that means is that all the water that goes into the pools passes by that ultraviolet light. And it is a sanitizer. It's one of the best sanitizers that exists currently. We used to have a lot more odor in here and people didn't like it because of the smell of chlorine. Now with this, you don't have that anymore. These two motors, okay, what they do is they generate air. And that air comes through this big flume, goes down into a chamber at the base of the wave pool and goes out into the wave pool. I mean, this door is literally moving like this because the machine is on, the air is pushing. We can't open this door right now. Look at that. It's just air. And when we put variable motors on it this last year, we are able to adjust the speed of the motor so we can adjust the height of the weight. If we see a lot of little guys, then we can bring it down so that they have a fun experience in the waves too. The contours of the pool widens out. That's why we have rolling waves down here, and then it goes to surf at the other end. It is cutting edge. It's a lot of fun. 